What's up, G-Fusion fans? This is Philip, and welcome back to another video. So, I went to Nagoya for an event, and you probably have already seen it either on Facebook or through the community page of this channel. And we went to Zenkaiger's final live tour in Nagoya. So... I am going to talk about uh, what happened, right? So I have uh, decided to cover that event because uh, rarely do we get the chance to go to an event where you can actually see the actors of the show. Because there are sometimes uh, shows that are just presentations, I think, like hero shows, you know, and such uh, live events, yes, but you don't get to see the actors for the show, right? But this one, we did. So, that's right. We got to see the Zenkaijers in the flesh. I'm not kidding. So, uh, unfortunately, uh, you know, videos and photos are not allowed. You know, Toei with their... And no event movie thieves, please. You know, and uh, every time they promote it, they uh, show these mascots, you know, wearing a camera on the head. And one is like a lamp, siren lamp, you know, for the police cars, you, you know, that. Uh, yeah, they even showed it uh, during the event. So, again, there are no photos from inside the hall or the event hall at least during the performance so just uh, uh, you know just take my word for it please <laughs> uh, I but I will tell you uh, what happened as much as possible so of course uh, we went to uh, NTK hall in Nagoya very accessible actually so from my place it's just about an hour's ride like there is a train station near our apartment and then from that you go down or you get off at Kanayama station in Nagoya and then from Kanayama station it's just a like three minute walk no just a couple minute walk actually so very close to the station so very very accessible and yeah uh, it wasn't really much uh, of a hassle except it was raining when I got there. So, uh, it was around... Uh, I actually arrived before... Uh, just around uh, before 2 p.m. I, I think it was 1.55 in the afternoon. And then, uh, because I was kind of early, I decided to go around for a bit. Uh, check out, uh, you know, like kill some time. And then I went back to the venue. So, it was... Uh, around uh, 3 p.m. when we were asked to line up uh, so we can get inside the hall. And we were asked to line outside while it was raining. Well, of course, I had my umbrella with me, but, uh, you know, it was an annoying experience at least. But I guess that was the worst part of that day, uh, thankfully. So, of course... Uh, we were allowed to go inside around 3.30, so yeah, it was about a, a half an hour wait in the rain. So when we got outside, of course, uh, or when we got inside rather, sorry, uh, I saw that there were a couple of booths. So you have one booth uh, where you could actually make reservations for uh, the... Zenkaiger versus Senpaiger uh, movie. So it was kind of special because they actually offered limited edition posters when you pre uh, or when you make your reservation or pre order tickets, I guess. So, of course, they were also showing the trailers for the movie on a big screen. And the second store. Or the second stall was actually the store, uh, you know, where you can buy some goods uh, for the event. And I did buy something I will show a bit later. I got it here with me. And there was a table with a few pamphlets. So, 
I'm going to show the pamphlets now. So you have here a hero show. You have Pretty Cure. And you can also see Kamen Rider Revi and Vice. And of course, uh, Dawn Brothers. So uh, there's also another pamphlet for... Uh, actually, exclusive. This is simply Kamen Rider, but uh, still, you know... Uh, so it is in Aichi, okay. Aichi Gadgets Gekido. So, anyways, so these are the pamphlets that I found, or uh, they were free. This one is blank, but this one has something at the back. So, yeah. It's a couple of free stuff that we got. So, I will uh, show you guys later what I bought from the stall, but. Anyways, uh, let's get into the actual event. So, of course, uh, so we were able to enter the hall about uh, 3.30 and then uh, we got, uh, or we actually saw the live, uh, it started around a, a bit past 4. I think it was about 4.15 when the show started. I don't know. I turned off my phone, actually, uh, just to uh, save battery. And, of course, uh, you know, just to make sure that we're not going to do anything suspicious in the hall. You don't want to get kicked out, you know. So, yeah, I hope you guys understand. So, anyways, so the live show began. And... Uh, we have, or we actually start with the appearance of Hiroya Matsumoto. That's right, Mr. Super Sentai himself was at the venue. And he was actually introducing the Zenkaijers. And apparently, this was also kind of like a stage show, you know. So, uh, yep, this turned out to have a story in itself, basically. So, of course, we do see uh, the Zenkaijers in action. So, they were up against a new Tojitendo called uh, Final World Tojitendo. Yeah, so Final Topia. Which, uh, ha which is basically a Tojitendo world in, in and of itself. So, uh, the main plot of this live event is basically uh, like rewriting the history where the Tojitendo won and the live show was going to be about them and the, the Zenkaijers were basically spread across various locations so uh, of course some enemies uh, appeared so uh, other than the featured uh, Tojitendo so you do have like uh, other monsters that were used in used in the show. Uh, uh, there were, I think, uh, three of them. I forgot which ones they were. Sorry about that. But yeah, so basically four of them. Uh, you also see some generals, yes. So Barashtara and the uh, Ijirude make their appearance. Boko House and Gege are also in the show, but they're... Uh, only projected onto a screen at the like at the back of the stage so uh technically they are also in you know in this presentation and uh, you also later later on uh you have an appearance of Hakaiser and actually another Stacy so uh there's basically two of them so again because of uh, the this uh, live show actually uh, occurs, if it were in the Zenkaijers timeline, it does happen after the final episode. So Stacy is in fact part of the team now, and because of the Tojitendo's ability, he was able to summon another uh, Stacy to fight off. Uh, the Zenkaijers, and what's hilarious about it is that the uh, Hakaiser actually pulls out a sash and puts it on the fake Stacy to distinguish <laughs> which Stacy is which, <laughs> which 
which was weird. But uh, yeah, it, it was funny and it was quite entertaining. And uh, there were uh, like a few ad-libbed parts, I guess, or I don't know if they rehearsed it. But while, uh, while in the midst of like the battle, so uh, they brought out a guy, you know, uh, seemingly like a civilian who was, uh, you know, caught hostage for a bit. But that guy was actually a voice actor. That guy is Takuya Sato, the voice of Zenkai Brun. Yes, so you see basically two Zenkai Bruns on stage. So the Zenkai Brun character is and the voice actor were on stage at the same time. That's right. And not just that, but we also have another special guest, Takeshi Tsuruno, the singer for Zenyok Zenkai Zenkaiger. Or, as you probably know him if you are one of those 90s kids who grew up with Tokusatsu, he was Ultraman Dyna. Yep, he was there. So, of course, uh, you know, I myself grew up watching Ultraman Dyna and uh, having him on the stage is, uh, you know, somewhat of a dream come true, really. I mean, sure, seeing, you know, the actors who played recent uh, tokusatsu roles, uh, well, uh, you know, they still reprised, especially with Kaito, you know, he is... Uh, in Dawn Brothers, and in fact, uh, so that day, right? So, uh, so it was May first, uh, twenty twenty two, as of that uh, uh, stage. So, this is May second. So, yeah, it was yesterday from this recording. But, anyways, so uh, coincidentally, the day that I watched. Zenk Hydra Live was actually the same episode where we see Kaito in action for the first time as Zen Kaiser Black. Now, technically, we do see Zen Kaiser Black in uh, episode one, right? He, he does appear from time to time, and of course, Kaito is a regular character in Dawn Brothers, but this is uh, it was the first time we did see him in action with the transformation sequence and actually fighting against the Hitotsuki. But, uh, let's, talk, uh, let's talk about that some other time, shall we? Let's get back to the live. So, of course, uh, during the battles, you know, uh, the Zenkaijers uh, used basically everything that they have in their arsenal. And, of course, that includes using uh, the Sentai gears that they have. So, there were a couple, or, you know, at least uh, three, actually. There were three uh, particular Sentai Gears that uh, were used. Now, the first one. So, uh, in one scene, uh, Majin uh, used uh, Ma- a Maji Ranger uh, Sentai Gear. The Maji Ranger Sentai Gear. Not her gear, but the Maj- Maji Ranger Sentai Gear. So, uh, in fact, it was actually Juran who told her that, or should I say God, yes, the God of Zenkaiger uh, also appears, uh, albeit through Juran, so uh, God tells Majin to use the Maji Ranger gear. And guess what happens? We get to summon a past ranger. That's right, Hiroya Matsumoto dresses up as Tsubasa Ozu once again to fight off the Tojitendo. Now, uh, albeit he wasn't in his uh, Maji Ranger suit, but he was wearing his uh, jacket as a... his civilian jacket, actually, as Tsubasa. So yes, uh, it was Tsubasa, not actually Maji Yellow. But he was wearing the Maji gloves, so uh, yeah, he... Uh, we still see him specializing in boxing, actually, which is uh, very nice. And then, uh, actually, this will happen later, but uh, I'll get to this one first. It wasn't really in order. Bear with me here. So, 
later on, Flint and uh, Zox were uh, having their own troubles with Doji Tendo. So, uh, Zox used the Go Busters gear. Well, uh, so Flint uh, told um, Zox, right, to use the Go Busters gear. So, you know what happens, right? Just like how Majin used the Maji Ranger Sentai gear, it was the same basically when Zox used the Go Buster gear. Yes, it was Jin Masato or Masato Jin, actually, if you would uh, pronounce it or you would arrange it in a more uh, Western style. But yeah, Beat Buster appears on stage. Again, the civilian mode. So, uh, Hiroya Matsumoto wasn't there for, uh, you know, just for the talk show. So, yes, uh, he's uh, basically uh, the Tommy Oliver of <laughs> uh, Super Sentai, I guess. Uh, although, uh, Tommy Oliver is one character sim- simply appearing uh, in uh, various Power Rangers shows, uh, yeah, for consistency, but Hiroya Matsumoto played different roles in Super Sentai. I guess the uh, the only character that he didn't play was uh, the one he had in Q-Ranger. I forgot the name of that guy, but yeah. Uh, that was, again, uh, the only character that Hiroya Matsumoto did not play in this stage so we only focused on his ranger roles and when i said you know like the zenkai just transformed so yes uh, we do see suit action so anyways <laughs> so the third sentai gear uh, actually there were more but the third special sentai gear that we see so here we have kaito and stacy i guess so they were together that time now when Kaito used a Sentai gear, it was number 46. That's right. Kaito summoned Don Brothers once again. Actually, uh, before, uh, if you guys, you know, watched uh, Zenkaiger. So, uh, when Kaito used the... Uh, Momo, uh, the Avataro gear actually. So when his dad uh, created it, so it summoned Don Momotaro. But this time he summoned the entire Don Brothers team. And yes, this is the Don Brothers team that has their own uh, catchphrases. So something that wasn't really in the TV show, but uh, is. Uh, you know, said during their performances at G Rosso. And yes, of course, uh, Kiji Brother and Inu Brother are actual costumes, not CGI. And yes, uh, uh, I know Inu Brother is supposed to be very short, but again, for the suit purposes, yes, uh, we do see an actual suit for Inu Brother. Yes. But again, for the show's sake, uh, you know, brother has to be portrayed small. But anyways, yes, we also do see the Don brothers fight in action. So, as for you know the characters, no, we of course have the voice acting. And speaking of which, you know, like when the Don brothers were uh, out, when I listened closely to the voices, they were actually the voices of the actors, right? Uh, Although I think uh, most of the voice acting was pre-recorded for the Kikainoids. Uh, I think even Bloon, even though uh, Takoya Sato was at uh, the event himself, but uh, he probably has pre-recorded some uh, lines because there were three... Uh, performances that day so one in the morning one around noon and then uh, I actually saw the last one in the afternoon so uh, for consistency so they uh, basically 
uh, played or the same recordings uh, again and again. But yeah, uh, so you do have voices pre-recorded for the Kikainoids, for the Dawn Brothers. Even Sechan was there. Uh, but of course, uh, Misato Fukuyan's voice probably was pre-recorded. And even Yatsude. So even her voice was pre-recorded. Uh, but it, it was nice because when you listen closely, you, you don't think that, you know, uh, these are just... Uh, voice actors for the live event but these were voice actors for the show which is awesome so again the show lasted for uh, about an hour i guess so it was basically like a movie you know could have been a movie but very nice and some of the other things that uh i really liked during the uh, show so uh kaito used the Super Zen Kaiser uh, upgrade. Zox used the Super uh, 2 Kaiser. And actually, he also turned into Katana and Riki, which is very nice. And yeah, uh, even uh, you know the guest characters, again, uh, such as uh, Takeshi Tsuruno himself, really, uh, he had lines, so uh, he... It felt like he was part of the show, at least. So, after that, right, after the show, so there was, of course, a 10-minute break. And then after the 10-minute break, so we started with the next portion, which is the talk show. And, of course, uh, you know, uh, we had uh, Takuya Sato as uh, himself. So, uh, share, you know, each uh cast member sharing experiences, you know, things that they remember most from the show and stuff like that. So, uh, during the talk show, uh, or at least in the later part of the talk show, so there were two character songs that were performed and I guess, uh, so yeah, o- only two character songs. But you know, what I heard was Stacy's and Zenkai Brun's uh you know character songs so uh stacy himself performed uh, his own uh character song on stage and then uh for zenkai brun uh i think uh, it was playing in like a recorded version but uh, of course takoya sato was there so he probably had a duet with himself i guess so yes uh zenkai brun and uh, Takoya Sato singing together. And of course, it's not going to be uh, complete without Takeshi Tsuruno performing the whole song in front of the live audience, which is amazing. And he even sang the full version, which is extra amazing. So of course, you know, uh, it was the end of the show and uh Everyone uh, de- delivered heartfelt messages. I can't uh, say everything because, you know, it would take a lot of translation. But, uh, of course, uh, it, it was, you know, for, for me, it was a profound moment because not only am I seeing them live for the first time, like, I can't believe I followed these guys for a year, you know, on TV. And then I get to see them. And because Hiroya Matsumoto and uh, especially Takeshi Tsuruno were there, I was able to see heroes that I have seen from long ago, especially again with Takeshi Tsuruno because, uh, you know, for me, Ultraman Dino was one of my uh, favorite superheroes growing up and definitely Dino is one of my favorite Ultraman. But... You know, it was definitely an experience that uh, I probably should never forget. You know, it was the first time that I have seen Super Sentai actors in real life. Maybe next time we'd see Kamen Rider actors. Who knows? Uh, So uh, definitely uh, I'll be going again if the opportunity presents itself. Okay, so now let's move into the loot. Now, 
there were some items that I really thought of getting, but I guess uh, the one that I chose was this one. In the end, I chose this one. So this is actually the pamphlet for the final live tour. So as you can see, the entire cast, of course. Uh, and at the back is actually a picture of Colorful, which is very nice. Or Don Bura, maybe. <laughs> if you're watching Don Brothers, of course. So, right. So this is uh, what it looks like inside. So this is actually uh, the summary of the of how the event goes. So, Zenkai ja saigo no tadakai. Yes. Final! So, yeah. Anyways, so I'm going to show you guys uh, one by one. So this, uh, so you do have like the character profiles here, like a brief int introduction of the character. And if you notice here, so these are handwritten uh, comments from the actors themselves. So I'm actually going to read a bit here. So, for example, this part. So, uh, Kita Komagine himself uh, wrote this. So this part here is like uh, his favorite episode. So according to him, it was the final episode that he liked most. So there we go. And uh, again, e each character did the same. So they probably uh, were given like uh, questionnaires to fill out with the same. Uh, everyone answered the same uh, questions. So we have here uh, Zenkai Juran and Shintaro, uh, Shintaro Asanuma, of course. Uh, well, you don't you don't see the character or the voice actors. So Zenkai Gaon and. Uh, Yuki Kaji's, uh, you know, interview. So, Majin! Majin! Uh, of course, uh, Yume Miyamoto's uh, interview, and then lastly, or uh, actually not the last, but the uh, Zenkai Brun and Takuya Sato's interview. There you go. So, not to mention, we also have here uh, Tsukaiza! And Katsuki Mashiko's interview went, and of course, uh, Hinami Mori's interview, Stacy, and Yo Sekoguchi's interview right there. And of course, you also have like an introduction of the other characters, so from Sechan to the Tojitendo themselves. You even have a promotional page for the Dawn Brothers. And you have, actually, like, uh, this is a lyric page. So you can see Takeshi Tsunil's picture. So Zen Yoku Zenkai Zenkai -jer. Yes, these are the complete lyrics. And uh, lyrics for all of the character songs, you know, from the characters. And here, and this page is a complete episode guide from start to finish. So yeah. And a promotion for uh Zenkaiger versus Sempiger or Zenkaiger versus Kinamager versus Sempiger. And then uh, so discography uh, or actually like uh, on sale. So Zenkaiger CD, Don Brother CD. And there you have it. So this is the pamphlet for Zenkaiger Final Life Tour 2022. So I believe uh, the next one, uh, they have, I forgot where they're going next, but uh, anyways, uh, ah, so you do have a list of uh, dates here, so I didn't notice that. So they'd be going to Sendai in Miyagi Prefecture on May 15th, which is nice, okay. And, uh, I guess uh, the last uh, event that they'll have is uh, from May 28 to 29 in Osaka. There you have it. So, yeah.
Zenkaiter Final Live Tour. So that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for supporting us because really we wouldn't have been able to do this without you. So because of your support, we got to this one. So please do continue supporting us so we can keep making content like this. Hopefully, you know, if uh, Toei should allow it, uh, we'd be able to see, uh, you know, more events like this. Uh, I guess uh, my biggest regret is that I, uh, you know, there wasn't really an opportunity to meet the actors up close. They probably didn't have that, uh, you know, part. I guess for, for the safety of the actors as well. I mean, we still are in a pandemic-ridden world unfortunately, but uh, again, uh, seeing them on stage, I, I probably wasn't close enough, but, you know, I still saw them. It, you know, it was already uh, a satisfying feeling for me, you know, seeing them uh, both on TV and then finally being able to see them live, which is c completely amazing, really. So, yeah, again, Thank you, everyone, for allowing us to do this kind of stuff, really. So, if you did enjoy this video, please do leave a like, comment, share this video, subscribe, and don't forget the notification bell <laughs> so you get the latest from GE Fusion. There is going to be a link down in the description where I will also post a few photos of whatever I was able to uh, take uh, when I was at NTK Hall. So again, link is down in the description. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Zenyoku! Zenkai! Bye!